So say you don't want to spend 200 for up to date, 159 for Hippocrates, but you still want to have apps. You want free apps. Here's the app that I would use. I would use Medscape. Um, I have it on my phone because I just like it. I use it sometimes, yes, especially if I have difficulty finding something, which is rare because Hippocrates and UpToDate has everything. But I just can't let Medscape go. It's a free app and they have some awesome articles. Um, and again, they have the medicines, they have um, references, they have the research, they have everything. So, you know, the um, Medscape app is a free app. I really love it. Um, so for example, let's see, I was looking up pernicious anemia the other day. I will tell you that for a free app, Medscape is everything too. Here's why. They also have, like Hippocrates, they have really to the point, you know, information. It's not too much information. So, oh, I was showing you guys the wrong thing. So here they have to the point information. You see overview, clinical presentation, differential diagnosis, workup. So what are you going to do if you want to work up a person with pernicious anemia? Um, it tells you everything. So I really love this app. And if you're in school, um, it would be awesome just to have it. And um, if you don't want to pay for up to date and Hippocrates because it's very pricey, then Medscape is the next best thing. Um, all right. And then my job wants us, well, we don't have to do this, but um, they gave us a form that is... Um, that just talks about some of the best apps to use. And one of them was EPSS. This is so awesome because when you do physicals on people and um, you know, you're know you kind of wondering what screening tools you should use, it's really great because all of the screening tools are here. Um, and it's, I, this is what I really love. You can type in the person's age, their sex, tobacco use, and whether they're sexually active, and up will pop all of the screening tools you need to use. And when you're doing physicals on people, you know a woman, she's 50 years old, then you know that it's gonna be time for her to have her mammogram, and you have to evaluate for a colonoscopy if she's due for that, and um, all of that things. And all of those things and sometimes in the middle of everything it's just um your mind can go blank so if you have this you can just type it in and up pops everything she should be screened for so i don't want this video to be forever because you guys are gonna die so um i'll just kind of go through the rest of the apps on my phone i have npr um i rarely use this but I, I don't know, I just, I have it. Sometimes I do occasionally, but it's not an app I, I use all the time. And it is free. I also have Dermnet. Um, as I was telling you guys before, I use my Derm book more than I use Dermnet. I will go to Dermnet if I want more pictures. So if I want more pictures, yes but in real life, I use my Derm book more. Next, I have Bugs and Drugs from Hippocrates. You know, everyone can have that. Um, CDC Antibiotics. I don't use this that much, the CDC Antibiotics, because they want you to pay for um, access to some of the disease processes, some of the antibiotics. And I have that information in UpToDate and Hippocrates, so there's no reason to pay for that. Um, next, I have the BMI tool, but honestly, this, whoa, honestly, the BMI tool is in Hippocrates, and I always use the chart. I kind of always just go straight to the chart instead of, um, instead of going through the BMI um, 
you know, the putting all of the patient's information in. Sometimes if I'm in a rush, I will pull the chart up and I will actually sit by the patient and show them on the chart. And that's how I get into the need for weight loss. I'll just bring out my BMI chart and we'll talk about height, weight, and this is where you are. And you see it says that you're obese. So let's talk a little bit about weight loss measures and this wellness program we have going on. So. I use the BMI chart a lot as a conversation starter when I want to tell a patient about weight loss. I also, I'm on the fence about prescriber's letter. Um, I don't know, I, I like having the app because there's some little free things they'll let you read, but I haven't really paid for it yet and you guys can kind of tell me what you think about prescriber's letter because I don't know. I might, I don't know. Tell me what you guys think about that. I'm on the fence about it. And then MedPulse, which is by Medscape. Um, I really like this app. It's free. Um, and it just basically tells you it has all of you know, some research articles, journals. And, you know, in your spare time, it never hurts to read up on some things, especially things that you're weak in. Know your weaknesses. So I'm working on mine. I know mine. I even made this little list of my weaknesses and I try to take time out to read up on them. Um, so the rest of the apps on my phone before, this phone is getting on my nerves. Before we talk about really quick, the journal apps, the last one is five minute clinical consult. I was just turned on to this one. Um, here's the thing. I don't feel like I need to pay for any more apps. I have Hippocrates and I have up to date and those are my favorite. And honestly, honestly, that's kind of all you need because up to date even has algorithms that are awesome. I love them. So a lot of times I'll even go to the graphics in up to date and I'll go to the algorithms. I love algorithms. I'm an algorithm girl. They just, they're the best. So Five Minute Clinical Consult has so many algorithms, it's crazy. And I'm thinking about this app a lot, but I just don't wanna have overkill and just spend all of this money on apps when honestly in up to date, you can get the algorithms for anything you want. You just go to graphics. Um, but if you get the app on five minute clinical consult and not pay for it, and then you press preview, um, so when you press preview, you see this button here that says algorithms and you go there, all the algorithms with this little, uh oh, all the algorithms with this little blue thing on the side are free for preview. So I actually, I'm able to see some of them and, and it's pretty awesome because the ones that are free are awesome. Abdominal pain, chronic abdominal pain, lower abdominal pain, upper abdominal pain, absent or diminished pulse, um, acetaminophen poisoning, um, you know, some, those are pretty cool. And I thought, well, I'll keep this little preview thing on my phone and at least I have access to some of the algorithms, but I guess it would be worth it if you want access to algorithms really fast because in up to date, you have to open it up and you have to go down to graphics and then you have to find the algorithm. But if you have five minute clinical consult, they'll be right there. But that's, you know, that's a personal decision and I really haven't made my decision yet. So we're coming to the end of the video. So um, the other apps I have on my phone, Omnio, I do have it. Do I use it a lot? Rarely, barely, I barely use it. Um, and then the rest are journal articles. I love Clinical Advisor. Um, that is so awesome. I love it, love it, love it. And I like the journal for nurse practitioners. I have that on my phone. And you guys know I'm crazy about my radiology CPT code guide. I have that on my phone. And what else? Um, I think.
think that's it. So, and then I have the My CME where you can, um, you can do little CME exercises and case studies. I really like that. Sounds, <laughs> yeah. I like it. So um, I don't want to um, make this video like an hour long. So in a nutshell, in a nutshell, I use Hippocrates. I use up to date. I love them. I will pay however much they want for them because they, um, they are everything to me when I'm at work. And um, all of the rest of the apps I have on my phone are just supplemental and I do use them sometimes um, but you guys have my two major Hippocrates quick to the point I'm stepping out of the patient's room and I'm looking something up to confirm something or to tell me information that I need to know and it's right there and it's really fast and then up to date you know, you want to be fast with up to date. There's a lot of info you need to know how to navigate up to date. So I go to the sidebar, I go down to graphics. I want to see this algorithm. Um, I want to get patient information on a healthy diet um, or a low sodium diet, and I want to print it out for them or whatever their disease processes or their diagnosis was. I want them to have information so that they can know what's going on with their body. So I go to up to date and I print it out. And when I'm home and I want to look over everything about diabetes, I will go to up to date. I'm home and I want to look up something really fast, you know, about uh, headaches. What should I find on my physical exam? Hippocrates. So I know which app I want to go to to find what information. And it's really awesome. And it makes me feel so great. I love it. So I hope this video helped you guys. Um, I'm going to do another video to show you guys because this video is way too long. I'm going to do another video to show you guys what you need to do to get that Hippocrates app for $111. I was so excited and proud of myself when I did that. It was awesome. So that is it for you guys. And I, I really hope this helps. And for everybody that's a new MP, congratulations. You're going to love it. And everybody that will be an MP in the future, congratulations, early congratulations. You're going to love it. Um, and that is it. So <laughs>